All right, everyone. Hello and welcome back to the channel. All right, guys. Here's a newbie frauditor that's been out there for the past ten months doing his thing, and um, I've been keeping an eye on him. I did a video on him a while ago, a few months ago, when he first started, and um, let's just say he's gaining support. He's gaining support. Uh, just a few weeks ago, he was at 3,000 and change, subscriber-wise. He is now up to 6,700 and change. So, people are starting to like his videos. He is becoming, um, like, he's becoming the next new thing, guys. They, these guys, they blow up quick. I don't know what it is, but, um... Next thing you know, they're up there 20, 30, 40, 50,000. Um, it's just the way it works. I don't know. I notice that's the way it works with these guys. But one of the things that um, I find a little peculiar in his about section, everybody's channel, if you're familiar with your own channel, there's an about section in your channel where people describe what their channel is about. It's either gaming or or whatever the case, whatever your 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 channel is about, you describe it in your about section. In his about section, he promotes that he is out there trying his goal is to bring awareness of public photography in publicly accessible places. I don't know if I said it word for word properly, but he is bringing awareness of public photography in public places, okay? So he is out there um, trying to bring awareness. So he says, now again, I, I, I find it peculiar because he's, uh, all of his videos, all of his videos, he will be confronted by someone and, and asked, what are you doing? What's going on? You know how people ask when these frauditors will go somewhere and stand in front and you'll see, I put two videos together, you will see both locations, people ask them, what's going on, what are you doing? I choose not to answer. That's, that's what he pretty much tells them. I choose not to answer that question or whatsoever. So here I'm trying to figure out, hold on. In your about section, you're stating that you're trying to bring awareness to people about public photography, but when people ask you, what are you doing or what's, you know, what's going on, you tell them you don't want to answer their question. So it's like you contradict yourself, in my opinion, okay? It, it, it's, it's just, I don't know, they're working, they work, they say one thing and they do something else, and that's why they end up on this channel you're you're full of shit you know what i mean you're pretty much basically you're pretty much making videos you're targeting that market you know as we all know there are people out there you know that subscribe to these subscribers because uh, they have their own little hatred towards our government and law enforcement and so on and they find these guys that are willing to go out there and throw jabs at our government officials or public employees and so on yeah they'll give them their support you know and so they taught my opinion these frauditors they already know they tap that market and um the next thing you know, here they are making videos to make a buck, and they start making that quick, easy money. And the next thing you know, we have another Long Island audit. And the next thing you know, we got another Glenn Serial out there. So, it, it, it's like a never-ending story with this shit. But anyway, guys, uh, well, another thing that bothers me about this guy is that he likes to target churches. Every Sunday, he goes out there to audit a so-called audit to a, a church you know so i'm saying son of a gun doesn't he realize and and i don't know maybe i'm a naive person my opinion churches be it christian be it you know um jehovah witness whatever which whatever denomination or whatsoever they should be considered off limit that's my opinion you know what i mean freedom of religion you know what i'm getting at that's in the constitution why they target churches i i swear i don't know these people i've read the comments and you'll hear there I, I saw one comment from some knucklehead there oh i love church audits keep doing them we need more and i'm like what the hell is going on you know but regardless 
let's check out these videos and you give me your input about this knucklehead here. He's a knucklehead, in my opinion, a knucklehead. Let's check out the videos. Hello there and welcome to this installment of First Amendment Rights. Today I'm in the city of Lake Forest, California and I'll be checking out the Orange County Sheriff's Department Saddleback Station. See if my right to record in public, capture photo and video in publicly accessible areas will be respected today. So stick around and we'll see how things go. As right, so I'm walking through the uh, parking lot here like a civilian car is parked out here. I noticed on uh, Google Earth that they parked uh, a lot of the sheriff's uh, vehicles along the street here. So I'm going to go further down this way if there's no signage that says public access is denied. So I'm going to go check it out here. We have signage here that says OC Sheriff's Department Vehicles Only. Alright, so I'm sure by now you guys realize that he is conducting a so-called audit at a police department. Now, as we all know, frauditors, they like to play the signage bullshit. That if um, the signage doesn't say anything about pedestrians, then that gives them their right of way to go in there and go through their parking lot and record inside their vehicles. Now, we all know, I think we all know by now, the reason they do that shit is because they know, hold on, if I start recording inside their vehicles, they will get concerned because anybody would get concerned. Any normal person would get concerned with seeing somebody while recording inside of their vehicle. Okay. Now, mind you, you know, we all know taxes or tax money goes towards buying these police vehicles, right? But an officer who is assigned that particular vehicle, you got to admit, come on, that's their vehicle. You, you're going to say, you're going to call it, you're going to treat it like it's their vehicle. So if you see somebody looking through your vehicle, hold on, what's this person doing? What is his intentions? Is he trying to break into the vehicle or, or whatever the case may be? It brings attention and that's what this individual is looking to do. Okay, bring attention to himself. Again, read the sign. Uh, Sheriff's Department vehicles only he'll turn around and say well it doesn't say anything about pedestrians so that means it's okay for me to go in there but any normal person such as us okay i particularly see that sign and say okay sheriff department vehicles only that means only a cop car can go in there i'm not a cop car i'm a pedestrian so that means i'm not allowed in there but these guys think differently <laughs> hey their, their, whole, their whole frame of mind is a lot different than a normal person. So, it's, like I say, here's the signage bullshit game, guys. Doesn't say anything about pedestrians. So I guess that means we're good, huh? There we go. We'll check out our vehicles. Stand by, guys. City of Lake Forest, December 20th, 1991. I'm guessing that's when the city of Lake Forest was incorporated. Check the other side of this one here. Got the windows tinted. Got a whole bunch of radio equipment down here. Pretty clean inside, so they look like they're pretty well maintained. Okay, 
other side here. Oh, yeah, I gotta get a better view of the equipment in there. That's cool. glare on the windows today. Huh? Do you need some help with something? Oh, what can I help you offering? I see you walking around looking at the, the car, so I didn't know if you need help with something. Oh, no. No? Okay. No. Can I get your uh, badge number since you made contact? Can I get your badge number since you made contact? Are you ignoring a citizen's request? What's that? Can I get your badge number since you made contact? Thank you. Uh-huh. I had to ask three times. Mission Viejo. We got the black and whites over here, and then we got uh, all white here. It's community service, it looks like. Community services officers' vehicles. All right, let's check these out. Let's see what we got going on inside here. Nice. Hi. What's up? How are you? Good. How are you? Just checking out what's going on here. No, nothing that concerns you. Is there a problem? No, I'm just inquiring. Huh? What, I'm inquiring with you. What's going on? Oh, okay. Well, you can inquire all you want. Yeah. Hello. Morning. So you're not going to tell us what's going on? Do I have to? I'm asking. Okay, then I'm denying. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you're good. All right. Well, you have a nice day. Yeah, you too. All right. So here's our second encounter with police. And again, I got to ask that question. Where is bringing the awareness here? Both encounters, both police have asked him, what's going on? What, what are you doing? He gives no type of information. His response of real, in my opinion, they're real cocky. They're, they seem confident. This one. This encounter here seemed very kind of confrontational, in my opinion. His reply was sarcastic. And again, I say it sounded like he was looking to stir up a back and forth argument by his response. Now, why the police didn't um, bring up the issue that he's in a restricted area, I don't know. I can only take a guess that the police realized that their signs are not worded properly, so they didn't even bring it up. But again, where is bringing the awareness in what he's doing when asked by anybody, you know, what are you doing? So he's contradicting himself, in my opinion. Happy holidays and happy new year. Happy new year. Happy new year. Yeah. continue doing what I'm doing. I can ask, but don't have to tell. Alright, 
So I'm gonna head in the lobby, check it out inside, see what it looks like. Hopefully they don't give me any more issues. Stay tuned, be right back. I'm around the front of the building. Business hours, Monday through Friday. Medium to five, Saturday and Sunday closed. And let's see. Those coverings required when entering this facility. I have mine on, so let's go and check it out. Hi. You're more than welcome to film outside, but you cannot film in here. Why not? It's a violation of the law. 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 Is this a public lobby? It's a public lobby, but it's not, um, it's, um, we conduct uh, business in here that you cannot film. I'm conducting my business, yeah. Okay, you cannot film in here. So you're saying I can't film in public? You cannot film in this lobby. But this is a public lobby. Yes. You're more than welcome to film outside, but you cannot film in here. What law is that? It's for the, it's a trespass law. Trespass law for what crime have I committed? Trespassing. If you film in here. Trespassing? Yes. What crime have I committed to be trespassed? By filming in here. In a public lobby? Yep. How is that possible? What law? You're not telling me what law. What law? What code is that? It's uh, 602. So I have to break the law to be trespassed. I'm just gathering content for my story right now, so. Huh? We're having our sergeant come out. Okay, thank you. Huh? So the sergeant's gonna come out in a minute. I'll see. Sergeant's coming out. So that's funny, the public can't record, but you guys can. All right, so there goes that same old bullshit camera defense where if you're recording us, we can record you. Well, guys, we already know those cameras are there for security reasons in case something crazy happens. They got it recorded. They can go back in there and see what happened and who they have to go after of anybody. They don't know who that person is and what they're doing with their footage. Are they gathering intelligence? to see what their routines are or they're going to end up putting it on social media and make money off of it like this asshole's doing so you know there's a major difference there major difference now i'm sure you've also heard these frauditors state that they could the same way they FOIA request information about the offices or whatsoever they could FOIA request the footage 
All they got to do is give what date, from what time to what time, and they get the footage. Well, and then what's the whole purpose of, um, what's the need of you going in there to record when all they got to do is FOIA request that footage, you know? This way they don't bother nobody, they don't harass anybody. All they got to do is ask for what day, from what time to what time, and they're good to go. They could do that, they don't bother nobody. But they don't do that. Doesn't work that way. Is uh is somebody coming out or something? Yeah, sorry, oh. Castellano. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. huh? so, did you want to talk to me? I didn't want to talk to you. She said you were going to come out here and talk to me. Okay, you you had questions about the the law, right? You said the sergeant's coming out to talk to me. I didn't ask to speak to him. Okay. Okay. Have a nice day. Yeah. So I'm good to film in here. Am I going to be trespassed, like you said, or what? Nothing. For pub for recording in a public lobby. Yeah. Kind of left that up in the air there. I'd like to get confirmation on that, please, if I can. We're getting confirmation right now. Thank you. I appreciate that. Alright, so not to side up with this knucklehead here, but I gotta fault the female officer for making a comment that she wasn't fully aware of. If you're gonna state that he can't record there and then you're gonna threaten him with being trespassed, then I would think you better be, you know, confident and sure that your superiors are gonna back you up. Apparently, she didn't get the support from her superiors that she thought she was going to get. And she came out looking like a fool. My opinion. Hate to say it. there to try to trespass me deputy there uh, traffic deputy who came outside initially and asked me if I if she could help me uh, went back inside and she tried to threaten me with trespassing in a public lobby so uh, she said she was gonna have the uh, sergeant come out I got clarification and yep I knew she was wrong there's no way in hell you can trespass somebody from recording in a public lobby can't trespass him for that that's not a crime so there you go guys that's the uh, Orange County Sheriff's Department Saddleback Station in Lake Forest California all right well there goes his so-called audit at the police department where unfortunately he did make the officers look dumb so give him a point for that okay but where um where I come in is where was bringing the awareness at where he stated on his channel that he is out there bringing awareness on public photography. I didn't see it. He was in, um, approached by two officers. Both of them asked him what was going on, what was his intentions there. Nothing. No awareness, no nothing. So, you know, this was his latest video. 
And um, this is what I wanted to point out. Let's jump into the next video where he's doing a so-called audit at a church. Again, let's see where the awareness is at. Well, hello there and welcome to this Sunday installment of First Amendment Rights. Today I'm in the city of Tustin, California. I'll be doing a First Amendment audit here of the uh, Mariner's Church Tustin location. Let's see if my First Amendment right, freedom of the press, to capture video and photo from a public area will be respected today. Stay tuned and we'll see how things go. So heading across the street here to the Mariners. A fun fact about Mariners Church, if you're familiar with my videos, that was just at the Huntington Beach location of Mariners Church a couple weeks ago. Where I had a church representative come out and tell me to shut my camera down. So hopefully that doesn't happen here today, but we'll see. Flag blowing high in front of the church today. Service times. Good morning. 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 Good Morning guys! parking area here for the church. Morning. Hi, good morning. Coming in here, looks like a quaint little community church. They have a designated drop off zone here, right in front of the church. Other. Yeah, are you with anybody? No. Oh. Okay. So Can I help you, you with anything? Huh? Can I help you with anything? Oh, I didn't ask for any help with anything. All right. Yeah. No. Morning, Can you introduce, you your, can you introduce yourself? Uh, I can. Okay. But I choose you? not to. Okay. Well, yeah. I choose not to be filmed. I'm not. You'd have to get permission from everybody. Oh, I don't need your permission. You're on a public sidewalk. Okay. Yeah. So no. You yeah. All right. You don't need any help with anything. I don't need your help. No. Okay. Thank help. you. No. Yeah. I'm good. Yeah, well, God bless. Yeah, God you bless too. America. Yeah. Thank you. 
people, just let it be known that Jesus Christ is Lord. And as Lord of all, everyone is going to have to oh, give an wow. account for their actions and their words. Wow. So put that on your YouTube. Now, you? you know what? Wow. We you. know all about religion. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Me it's right now. religion yeah, I'm yeah. About. It's a relationship. Yeah, well, a relationship yeah. You know with the God well, of the universe. You. He created Whoa. everything. No, and we, we saw it. Excuse me. Yeah, no, you're good. You're good. And all you have to do is humble yourself and come to Him. Oh, look at the way they. Let Him embrace you. Look at the way they. For He is Lord, Lord of all. Look at the way they push their agenda on the people like that. Wow, crazy guy preaching yeah. on the sidewalk here. <laughs> you are filming private property, though. Huh? That is private property that they're filming right now. So. Yeah, so? But my eyes can see it. Yeah. So we can film it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Good guys. How are you doing? So glad you're here. We are glad that you're here. This guy just says I'm lost. I know exactly where I am. I'm on uh, Pacific and Six. I'm on Pacific. I'm on the corner of Pacific Street. So I know exactly where I am. Eternal salvation simply by receiving Christ. Christ is the Savior. Christ is the door. Welcome to Mariners. Hi. Hi. Oh, all right. Getting a cam back. You guys want to introduce yourself to us? Oh, you already asked me that. Did, was, what was the answer? Uh, I said no. Okay, thank you. Yeah. A little brochure stand over here. Pastor here, according to his name tag. How many candy canes you got? <laughs> I had two. I had two. Uh, Is that from today? Yeah. Where'd you get the candy cane from? They're a little pink. What's that? What organization do you ladies belong to? Uh, who says we're with an organization? Well, the fact that you're doing filming, it's not on your own for your own, obviously. I'm thinking, how do you know? Well, how do I? That's why I'm asking. Are you with an so organization? Is that why you're filming? And rather than make an assumption, would you be forthcoming and let us know? Oh, well, I'm going to reserve my right to not speak to you about that. Well, I'm not an attorney. I'm not yeah, going no, yeah. to take the fifth. I'm just asking, why are you doing this? Well, I'm, again, I'm not going to tell you because it's none of your business. We're not obligated to answer questions. But it's not an obligation. It's yeah. just common courtesy, decency, oh. human to human. All right. Well, there you go, guys. Um, what happened to it? What happened with that common decency amongst each other? consideration for your next you know fellow citizen what happened to that it's like these guys traded it in for the youtube fame the quick easy money and it's like um i don't know they think it's normal to be this way and i i just i don't understand it you got a group of people that are prepared you know they're gathering to prepare for a service or whatsoever whatever the case may be that's their prerogative they're not hurting nobody. They're not they're not doing anything illegal. They're not, you know, they're doing their thing. They have every right to do their thing. This guy comes out of the woodwork and he as you see, he's right there in in the mix of things. He's right there in the group. Because he's on a public sidewalk, that's how he's justifying it and that's kind of a kick in the ass because I mean you're in the group. It's not like he's standing a few feet away. He's right there in the middle of shit, aiming his camera at everybody. And and, and you know, if if somebody was to 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 get out of hand and smack the shit out of him, they would say he was wrong. But if you know, because we're looking at it, we don't see the whole big picture. We're behind a, a screen or whatever. But if we were there and Joe Schmo happened to do this shit. And you ask them, hey, what are you doing? What's up? And what's going on? And he told you, I ain't answering questions. Or he come up with some cocky ass comment. I don't know, depending on your, your personality, me. Again, I say, I do stupid shit without thinking. Okay? So, I, I don't know. I end up smacking the shit out of him. You know? You, you, you're being cocky with me. Where's bringing the awareness at? You know, bringing awareness to me means you're, you're communicating what you're doing. 
This is what I'm doing. I'm I'm trying to make you guys comfortable when you see people um, recording with a camera, so this way you guys don't panic and and so on. So this way they tell their friends, they tell their family members. Then everybody's on the same page, and there's no harm. But they don't want that. They truly don't want that because and then they won't get the excitement, they won't get the reaction, and they won't get the views, and they won't make money. So it's a, it, it's it's. That shit that he wrote in his about section, that's a disguise. Because his true intent is to cause drama. So he has that crazy reaction. So his subscribers are happy, gives them his like, give them the, you know, give them his likes and his views, and he makes money. But, you know, it's unfortunate that these guys say they, they're out there doing something and they're not. And people support that shit. That's the kick in the ass. That shows you we got sick people out there, guys. Am I obligated to answer you? You're, you're a stranger and we don't know you and yeah. I don't talk to well, strangers Well, that's because you don't want to know me. Yeah, you're, no, I'm I don't want to reach out you. to you. That's you're right. Exactly right. You're right. You, you don't want to know me, no, but we want to know and why you're know. doing what you're doing. Well, you're going to have to well, keep wondering. Gonna <laughs> yeah, okay. you're going to have to keep wondering. All right. get a shot over here. Building here. Check it out. According to these guys, we're minions of uh, Satan for oh. recording out here. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what they said. Yeah, that was kind of like what was on Midnight Mass. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, this is a prime example of Midnight Mass Church. It seems like it from out here. Definitely. <laughs> Well, he threw his sign up to block the view, so I gotta give him credit for creating privacy there. With their sign that says, we're so glad you're here. Alright, well that was pretty interesting. Uh, I had some interaction here on the sidewalk. They were asking what organization we're with. I wanted to know who we were, didn't call them any of that. And all in all, uh, no police have been called, so that's good. So they, they, they weren't as bad telling me to shut off my camera, but still they were uh, pretty uptight about it, it seemed. <laughs> the more people understand that this is perfectly legal, taking photos and video from a public sidewalk. All right, so that was his so-called audit at the church. Now, here I'm trying to figure out what did he accomplish there, guys? What did he accomplish? Other than the fact that he walked into a group of people that were gathering to go into, you know, the church to perform their service, you know, whatever. I haven't been to church in a long time, whatever else they do. Now, mind you, again, some of us might find that unusual, but that's their prerogative. Uh, that doesn't affect us in any way. It's not hurting anybody. It's not illegal. Freedom of religion. Okay, so uh, I don't see anything wrong in what they were doing. For him to walk into that group, he was in the group now. It wasn't like he was recording from a distance. He wasn't across the street. He wasn't like 10, 15 feet away. He was there in the group aiming his camera at people. Now, as for the fact that he says he brings awareness to people about public photography, we all know that's bullshit. He didn't bring any kind of awareness. Um, his subscribers felt like they learned something, and I'm trying to figure out what the hell they learned out of this so-called audit, other than the fact that probably if this is what he um, truly wants to teach, is that you can screw with anybody you want as long as you're on a public sidewalk. And if pretty much that's basically what he just did okay now is this what the movement is all about because i honestly thought the movement was about standing up to government and when dealing with the cops was about um letting them know hey we're watching your every move so don't do nothing dumb checking up on our public employees and so on 
I don't know how churches got into the picture, but they're in the picture. They're fair game now with these guys. What did they What did they accomplish? What did he accomplish there? Didn't bring no awareness. Made people feel uncomfortable. His subscribers felt like they learned what? That they can screw with anybody they want as long as they're on a public sidewalk. And pretty much that's what all the frauditors are doing now. Because the majority of them, that's all they're doing. They're not going into post offices no more. They're not going to City Hall no more. They are targeting private businesses. As we see them against the press, a Long Island audit. Well, Long Island audit is still playing around with City Halls, but these guys are targeting private businesses, standing on the sidewalk, recording for X amount of time until somebody comes out of that business to give them that back and forth argument that they so desire so that they can get the clicks and the views. But what are they teaching the subscribers? What, what the hell do the subscribers feel like they're, what education are they getting out of it? Other than the fact that it just proves, these guys are proving that you can screw with anybody as long as you're on a public sidewalk. That's about the only thing that they're teaching, if you want to call that teaching. So you guys let me know what you think. I don't know, am I wrong? Because this guy ain't bringing awareness as far as I'm aware. Let me know what you guys think, and um, I'll see you guys when I see you.